The mercury's been plummeting, so for tenants, that means it's officially time for landlords to turn on the heat. But for more than 40 heatless New Jersey tenants, who also say they've been taking cold showers for weeks, it was time for Nina Pineda and Seven on Your Side to turn up the heat. It was all cold, ice cold. How long has this been going on? This has been an ongoing issue since I've been in the apartment. It's been a battle against the elements for Kamisha Williams. First a fire and now ice. We first met when her family fought flames and after being temporarily homeless, moved into a new building, but from jump, either no hot water or hot water that comes and goes. I have this water so we, we can pour in the sink to bathe or for me to wash dishes. Since the first week of September, she's complained numerous times about the lack of heat or hot water. I'm calling management, I'm texting, I'm filling out work orders online. The super comes and goes down in the basement and does something to the baller and then it's hot again. But it doesn't last? No. As of October 1st, most landlords are required by law to provide heat and hot water for tenants until mid or end of May. That's the rule. It goes for New York City as well as in East Orange where Kamisha lives. On October 2nd, she complained again, even wrote to the mayor, because as a frontline health care worker, she says a hot shower's a necessity. And I work in a hospital, and I'm dealing with COVID. I have patients with monkeypox. We warned her not to do this. Use her stove to warm up. It's a dangerous practice, which can cause a fire or carbon monoxide poisoning. On October 8th, Kamisha's CO detector went off. The deadly gas was leaking from her oven. According to the fire department report, she was using it to keep warm. And responders had to immediately ventilate the apartment. I'm scared for that for you. So we went to see the property manager right away. After our visit to the management company, they promised to have the repair done within a few days, but then called back seven on your side to say instead of replacement parts, they needed to order a whole new boiler. A week later, the old rusty boilers out and the workers were busy hooking up a brand new one. Nina, you know, you already know you the best. <laughs>